Today on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to deal with problem tenants, squatters, and potential owners that don't wanna leave the property. We're gonna give you a couple tips on how to deal with it if you're a newbie, if you're a professional, or if you just wanna pay the tenant to get out. So my first tip is do not close on the property until the tenant is out. We closed on this house. The owner told us that the tenant had moved out. The tenant had also told us that he moved out. We came the day after closing with keys in hand, knocked on the door, knocked on the door, opened the door. The tenant was sleeping on the couch. Now at that point, I was a little frustrated because I'd been told the tenant moved out. He told us he was gone. So that's where the video came from a couple weeks ago. We ended up getting him some help. We ended up paying for his U-Haul and now he's finally gone. We took the kind approach. We were nice to him. We gave him a full another week to stay in the property so that he could get his orders in a fair. Tell the homeowner that you won't close on it until they get the tenant out because as soon as you close on the property, you inherit that tenant and you're not gonna be able to get them out. Some things we do these days with all the COVID regulations and backups happening is we talk to the owner about the tenant. We get the lease agreement. We go to the house and we actually talk to the tenant, see if they wanna leave. We made a couple mistakes on these last two properties where we were told by the owner that the tenant was out and we believed them, we didn't come check. So we created a new protocol where we're gonna walk through the property three days before we close on it. My tip number two is to try cash for keys. If your interest cost on the property is $2,000 a month, go and offer the tenant 300 bucks, then go to 400 bucks, then go to 500 bucks. Offer him some cash and make sure you have him sign something if he does end up taking cash that he's gonna be out by the specific date. That is called cash for keys. That's my number two tip when dealing with eviction. Tip number three is get your notices out as soon as you close on the property. As soon as you close, hire an eviction company or go down to the courthouse and file a five day, seven day, and 30 day. File all of them so they're all in process. You can file the eviction notices yourself. Go to clarkcounty.gov or wherever market you're in. Find your local government website and you can go and file the eviction papers there. Now for my business, we have a lot of projects going on, a lot of renovations. We have stuff like this that happens all the time. So we have a professional eviction company do all of our paperwork so that we don't miss a date, we don't miss a deadline. We know that they're doing everything correctly in the judicial process to get this person out. And filing notices cost about 75 bucks a piece. If you hire a company, it's gonna cost you $500 out the door to get this tenant out. Okay, now you might get dragged along a little bit. If you send a notice and the tenant responds to the court, you're gonna have to respond again. If all of that happens, you guys are going to have to go to court. With COVID going on these days, like in Clark County, court dates are two months out. So you're gonna be at least two months out before you go to court. Then it's gonna be another 30 days before this tenant actually gets evicted. That's why getting the tenant out before you close on the house is so important. If not, really, really go back to step two and try cash for keys. If you have this tenant for three months, at $2,000 a month, it's gonna cost you six grand. You can pay $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 to get the tenant out and start the rehab. In my case, whenever I have something like this happen, I always go to my eviction specialist. They're always gonna know the new rules, the new regulations, what exactly you should do if the tenant is current is not current, has a lease, doesn't have a lease, they're gonna be able to walk you through all the rules and regulations that you need to do. So this is the unlawful detainer. We paid Andrea to come post this notice. This, a lot of the time, just gives the tenant a good idea that we're serious about them leaving. And it should scare them off most of the time, unless they know what they're doing. They could be a professional squatter. Shout out to Andrea at Vegas Valley Evictions. That is my girl. She does all my evictions for me. Bonus tip make friends with the neighbors and get their phone numbers. This is gonna be your biggest help. It's like having a project manager on site all the time. Tell them, hey, I just bought the property. I know there's been issues with the current tenants or with the old tenants. I'm gonna renovate the property. Your property value is gonna go up as soon as we sell this. Can I take your phone number? Will you let me know if you see anything suspicious, if you see anybody in, or if you see anybody out? Just shoot me a text or give me a call. That is one of the biggest bonus tips on 
evictions, flipping houses, and getting rid of tenants. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. This was Tyler Hubs on A Flipping Good Life. If you learned about evictions or if you have any more questions about squatters, tenants, or homeowners that are still staying in the house, post them below. We'll get to you guys. We'll answer the questions. We'll make more videos. I love you. Have a flipping good life.